In this video, I'll find solutions to 2 mark and 5 mark problems based on the C chart or the defects chart. Problem 1. In a floor mat manufacturing company, the average number of defects per square meter of floor mat is known to be 4. Determine the control limits for the number of defects. In this problem, the floor mat manufacturing company will be the population and the average number of defects per square meter is given to be as 4. So solution given lambda dash is equal to 4. The C chart, the case will be when the process standard is known, that is the lambda value is known to us. The three sigma control limits are CL equal to lambda dash, UCL is equal to lambda dash plus three times root lambda dash, and LCL is equal to lambda dash minus three times root lambda dash. Stuting, we get CL equal to 4, UCL is 4 plus 3 times root 4, which is equal to 4 plus 3 into 2. Similarly, LCL is equal to 4 minus 3 times root 4, which is 4 minus 3 into 2. Therefore, the 3 sigma control limits are CL equal to 4, UCL equal to 10, and LCL is equal to minus 2. Whenever LCL is negative, it is approximated to 0. Problem 2. One meter of cloth was inspected for weaving defects. The total number of defects for 10 such samples was 24. Find the control limits for defects. So since the word defect is used, it is based on the C chart. The total number of samples is 10. So start the solution given K is equal to 10. The total number of defects is 24 that means summation c is equal to 24 where c stands for the number of defects so the c chart the case is when the process standard is unknown that is lambda is unknown the three sigma control limits are cl equal to c bar ucl is equal to c bar plus three times root c bar and lcl is c bar minus three times root c bar where c bar is equal to summation c divided by k which is 24 by 10 which is equal to 2.4 this problem k samples are taken and then the number of defects are found in each of the samples hence it is a case of the process standard lambda being unknown therefore the three sigma control limits are cl equal to 2.4 UCL is equal to 2.4 plus 3 times root 2.4 which is equal to 2.4 plus 3 into 1.5492 which is equal to 2.4 plus 4.6476. Similarly, we have LCL equal to 2.4 minus 3 times root 2.4 which simplifies to 2.4 minus 4.6476. Therefore, the three sigma control limits for the C chart are CL equal to 2.4 UCL is 7.0476, LCL is minus 2.2476, which is approximated to 0. Problem 3. 20 rolls of different types of cloth contained the following number of defects in each roll. 2, 4, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 6, 4, 8, 2, 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. Construct the control limits for the C chart. Here, let's start the solution by writing the value of K. So given K is equal to 20. So C chart will be the case when the process standard is unknown. That is lambda value is unknown to us. The case is the process standard is unknown because we have 20 samples and then the number of defects are mentioned in each of the samples. The information is not based on the population. So the three sigma control limits are CL equal to C bar, UCL is equal to C bar plus three times root C bar and LCL is equal to C bar minus three times root C bar, 
where c bar is equal to summation c divided by k. So the number of defects are given. If we add up all those 20 values, we get 75 and then divide by 20, we get 3.75. Substituting in the control limits, we get CL equal to 3.75. UCL is 3.75 plus 3 into root of 3.75, which simplifies to 3.75 plus 3 into 1.9365, or UCL is equal to 3.75 plus 5.8095. Similarly, LCL is equal to 3.75 minus 3 times root of 3.75, on simplification, it is 3.75 minus 5.8095. Therefore, the final 3 sigma control limits for the C chart are CL equal to 3.75, UCL is equal to 9.5595 and LCL is minus 2.0595 which is approximated to 0. Construct the C chart, we take the sample numbers from 1 to 20. I have taken the x axis scale as 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. On the y axis, we should take the number of defects which is denoted by C. The defects are given to us in the problem. So, for the y axis, I have taken the scale as 2 cm is equal to 5 units. Now, Corresponding to every sample, we should mark the defect. So for the first sample, the defect is 2. Similarly, for the second sample, it is 4. For the 19th sample, it is 2. And for the 20th sample, is 4. So I repeat, for each of the samples, you have to mark the corresponding number of defects. Then all these points are joined by straight lines, as I have highlighted in purple color. Then we mark the CL as a thick dark line where CL is equal to 3.75. Then similarly you have UCL which is a dotted line and it is marked at 9.5595. It's approximately like 9.6 and the LCL is 0. So it is just drawn as a dotted line above the x-axis. The conclusion, since all the sample points lie within the three sigma control limits, the process is in statistical control. Problem 4. The following data relates to the number of knitting defects per unit length of cloth manufactured by a textile mill. Draw a control chart with lambda dash equal to 3. So the sample numbers are from 1 to 10. The number of defects corresponding to each sample are 4, 5, 6, 6, 3, 2, 6, 7, 3, 4. So write given k equal to 10 and lambda dash is equal to 3. So the C chart, the case is when the process standard is known, that is lambda value is known. The three sigma control limits are CL is equal to lambda dash. UCL is equal to lambda dash plus 3 times root lambda dash and LCL is lambda dash minus 3 times root lambda dash. Substituting the values in the 3 sigma control limits, we get CL equal to 3. UCL is equal to 3 plus 3 times root of 3 which is equal to plus 3 into 1.7321 which is equal to 3 plus 5.1963. Similarly, LCL is equal to 3 minus 5.1963. Therefore, the final 3 sigma control limits for the C chart are CL is equal to 3, UCL is equal to 8.1963 and LCL is equal to minus 2.1963 which is approximated to 0. Now to construct the C chart on the X axis, we will take the sample numbers from 1 to 10 and on the Y axis, we will take the number of defects which are denoted by C and we will take the scale for the X axis as 1 cm is equal to 1 unit and for the Y axis, 1 cm is equal to 1 unit. Now corresponding to each sample number, mark the 
defect so for the first sample the number of defects are 4 then similarly for the second sample the number of defects are 5 for the ninth sample the number of defects are 3 and for the 10th sample the number of defects are 4 then all these points are joined by straight lines which is highlighted in blue color the CL is marked as a dark line at 3 and the UCL is marked at 8.1963 that is approximately 8.1 as a dotted line and LCL is marked at 0 a little bit above the x-axis again as a dotted line. We observe that all the sample points lie within the 3 sigma control limits hence we conclude that the process is in statistical control. With this video, I complete the various control charts for variables as well as attributes that is the X bar chart, R chart, D chart and the C chart. Do practice all the charts as they are important from the examination point of view and are at least simple to solve as well. Uh, look out for my next video on acceptance sampling where I will discuss the single sampling plan and the double sampling plan. Thank you.